This walkthrough will provide an overview of how to use the remote pane in the app to control your color spikes. We start off in the remote pane. This pane is a carousel that contains a single remote for each of your color spikes, as well as one for each of your groups, if you have any. Look for our tutorial on groups for more information. Swiping through the remote carousel, we see that one of the remotes is disabled, displaying a message that the color spike isn't connected. Let's hop over to the Connect pane by tapping Devices on the bottom main nav. We'll see that the device is available to connect to, so let's connect to it and return to the Remotes pane. We see that the remote is now available and active. Let's take a moment to break the remote down into sections. At the top there's a header that tells you the name and the nickname of the color spike. Both of these can be changed by tapping the Color Spikes puck over in the Connect pane to open its settings window. To the right we see an icon that indicates the battery state of the device, which displays not only the current charge, but also whether or not the light is plugged in. Our icon shows a plug, indicating that the Color Spike is connected to wall power. Below that we see information for what Color Spike is currently doing. The current pattern's name and preview are here, as well as an icon showing what type of pattern it is. Tapping this area will allow you to change the pattern, which we'll do now. A pattern browser pops up, which displays all of the patterns available on this color spike. To the right of the pattern name is an icon indicating what type of pattern it is. At the top of the browser are icons for filtering the list by pattern type. We'll select a pattern called By Color Sweep, and we see this change reflect on the color spike as we return automatically to our remote. Below the pattern info is the control section, which allow you to adjust the current pattern. The settings that appear here are the same ones you can change using the keypad on color spike itself. Each pattern type has its own group of settings. This remote is showing the controls for an animated pattern, but if we swipe over to our other devices, we see that one color spike is showing a solid color pattern, which has controls for hue, saturation, and brightness. And another is showing controls for a white pattern, which has options for temperature and tint. And the last, which is showing a fire pattern, with a very similar control set to the one we were working with before. Look for our other tutorials dealing specifically with the controls for each pattern type. We'll stay on our fourth color spike to review the bottommost section of the remote, called the remote tray. This section provides access to a few higher level options such as invert, which flips the orientation of the device, quick off, which toggles the lights while preserving the brightness value, pause, which will stop and start an animated pattern, and identify, which temporarily flashes the color spike all red, allowing you to confirm which remote belongs to which color spike in your setup. The last option, Live Edit, allows you to directly edit a pattern on the light, which we'll cover in a later tutorial. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other tutorials. If you have a specific question, feel free to reach out on Instagram or Twitter at Colorspike, or using the contact form at colorspike.com.